Two weeks ago, all places of worship were forced to close their doors in the battle against coronavirus. It's left many religious leaders wondering how they can reach their congregations. In Bolton, Father Chris is connecting with his through the power of the internet, live streaming mass to those who'd usually be there. Immediately there was very positive feedback from people. A number of emails when I got home have said they'd been worried about the time ahead, but now they felt that they could face it because they felt more connected with the community. Do you think it's just the people that would normally come to, to church or do you think it's reaching a bit wider than that? It is reaching wider because a number of our parishioners have been passing on to family and friends. So this is a good way for them to reconnect with their faith at a time when we need our faith. Down the road in Manchester, Rabbi Robin has also taken to broadcasting her services online. This is going to be an interesting service and one that I've not done before, so we'll see how it goes. We're reaching out to our community through doing ceremonies online. Some of the challenges are getting people onto the technology, people who aren't used to it. I've also been amazed by what warmth you can get in a service actually and all the comments and people reaching out. I did the service in my slippers. <laughs> I was like, this is brilliant. One important Jewish tradition that the rabbi is determined to continue is the coming of age ceremonies, the bar and bat mitzvah. Her first virtual ceremony was for 13 year old Sophia. Her family's had to self-isolate because they've not been well. So she couldn't get out, I couldn't get to her. So we decided to do it online instead. We're going to do it together now and imagine that we're there. I want to know how Sophia feels about experiencing such a milestone moment under these unique circumstances. <laughs> Sophia, tell me all about your bat mitzvah. It was nice to have got to do it still, even though I was at home. But I quite enjoyed it, actually. It's quite fun. You're a trailblazer. Hello. Virtual services are nothing new for Imam Sabah from London. He's been broadcasting spiritual messages and prayers with fellow Muslims on social media for the last six months. But since the restrictions started, lots more people have been watching. I now go live between Monday and Thursday and give the opportunity to people to come on, give their comments, see how they're feeling. Then I choose a prayer from the Holy Quran. Our Lord pour forth upon us steadfastness. We pray together. I ask people to remember those individuals who are suffering from the coronavirus. And just through that, I hope it creates a positivity and happiness. And it's just given that platform for conversation and dialogue to instill that hope because we need it now, more so than ever before. Our Father. With big religious festivals coming up, this is going to be a busy week. To celebrate Passover, Rabbi Robin will be conducting an online ceremonial dinner to fellow Jews. This Passover is going to be completely different to any other we've ever had. We've got some games planned and hopefully bring a bit of joy into what can be quite a dark time. And Father Chris will be hosting a special Easter service. On Good Friday, we're actually going to ask some of our readers to record the readings so that they can be played during the service. We are one big family, so I look forward to the day when we can all gather together again physically in church. It will be a wonderful day, a great celebration. Mm -hmm.